Hello fellow creators, today I have a quick video showing how easy it is to connect an analog joystick to an Arduino. For my application I considered using one of these inexpensive thumb joysticks. However, these are not panel mountable nor are they calibratable. I needed something a little more precise. I purchased this joystick from Adafruit for about $20, however I did find it later cheaper on Amazon. This joystick has a removable ring so that it can be panel mounted and more importantly it has this calibration screw and I'll show you why that's important. Now this joystick has two 10 kilo ohm potentiometers as you see on one side I'm only getting four kilo ohms so on the other I should have about six. Yes as you can see and so what I want to do is adjust this little plate here until I'm getting closer to five on each side. So now that I've adjusted it in, you'll see 5.2 kilo ohms on one side and pretty close to 5.2 on the other. This adjustment will improve the resolution on the Arduino. As you can see, as I push the stick, we go close to zero ohms. As I pull on the stick, we get close to 10 kilo ohms. To test this out, I grabbed a scrap piece of telephone wire I had laying around, connected black and red to each side of the potentiometer on both pots, and green and yellow to the center poles. On the Arduino side, I connected the red wire to 5 volts, black to ground, and the green and yellow I connected to analog 0 and analog 1. So let me quickly go over my Arduino code, and as always, I will post this on my Facebook page. So starting with the variables, I have an X pin and a Y pin that are channels A0 and A1 on the Arduino. Those correspond to the outputs of the joystick. I have a dead band, which I will discuss here in a minute. X position, Y position, and X speed and Y speed. Now these integers are not really needed in this code, but they would be needed if you were, say, controlling a motor and wanted to use PWM to control them. Here in the setup loop we start the serial monitor and in the main loop we start reading the joystick positions. So first we have our X position which is an analog read of our X pin. And here's where the dead band comes into play. An analog reading is going to be between 0 and 1023. So 511, 512 that's kind of the middle. Uh, but you can't exactly count on that being exactly in the middle when your joystick is in the neutral position. So I add this dead band here to make sure that if we're close to the middle, we still treat it as if we are in the middle. So this basically says if we are close to the middle, our direction is stop and our speed is zero. So down here is where the magic starts to happen. So if our joystick is detected to be greater than the middle position plus the dead band, we make our direction forward and we map our speed according to that position. So between where we're just outside of the middle all the way up to 1023, we will map that to a PWM value of 0 to 255. So we set our direction and we set our speed and we'll print those to the serial monitor. Likewise, we will do that if our joystick is less than the middle. We have our direction as backwards and we will also map our speed accordingly so that our speed will output between 0 and 255 for our PWM. So down here we do the same exact thing for the Y position of the joystick and we will print those values and we will do that every two seconds. So let's run the monitor and see how it works. With the stick in the neutral position, we're seeing both directions as stop, both speeds as zero as I advance the stick forwards. You will see that X speed increase, and as I pull it backwards, you will see it switch directions, and the speed once again increases the further I pull back. Uh, same for the left, same for the right, and so I go diagonal, forwards and right, forwards and left. You see wherever the stick is, it will give us a speed in each direction. For those of you who follow my channel, I just wanted to give a quick update. I think this version of the Arduino Hovercraft is finally ready to be tested on the lake. So keep your eye open for that video in the upcoming weeks. And as always, thanks for watching.